Pepper, where have you been? Pepper, why have you not posted in such a long time? Are you dead, Pepper? Because I, I really want to know if you're dead. I'm calling the police because I actually think you're dead right now, Pepper. Don't you worry, guys. I'm here. I'm alive. I promise. I am so sorry. I have had the craziest past two weeks. And when I'm saying that, I literally mean it. Like, it's been wild. I have had a math project, a history research paper, a herpetology and avian project that I now have to do, a careers in tech project, and above all else... I also have a field trip tomorrow, and so I've had to prepare for that, because I'm going to a zoo, and so I have to pack up a bunch of things in my backpack so I can, like, you know, be ready there. So, like, I'm not just dying of heat, and I can actually put on some sunscreen. And I also have some money to take with me so I can, you know, buy food for myself when I'm there. And also, hmm, what else has been on my mind recently? Oh yeah, I got a guinea pig, by the way. His name is Tango, and he's really adorable, and I love him to the bottom of my heart. And he just likes to sit on laps, and he's so cute and so adorable, and yeah, that's that's what I've been occupying my time doing. I've literally had no downtime, and when I say that, I, I mean it. Like, I have had no time. It has been extremely stressful. I'm not even gonna be joking with you guys right now. I'm, like, being dead serious. It was so stressful. Also, the fact that I have finals coming up very, very soon does not help anything. There are 19 school days left for me before I can leave and have summer vacation, which is amazing. But these last 19 days are going to be, like, jam-packed with just stuff. Like, projects and other things. Also, I have been trying my best to get my merch store up and running. And I believe that it will be up by the end of this week with the first design, which is going to be me and Ultra Puppy. That's going to be the first design that's coming out. So if you want to go ahead and have your merch in time for VidCon, if you're coming to VidCon, then it will probably be ready for you. I am so excited because we are just counting down the days now until VidCon. And it is getting closer and I am getting more and more excited. We had a really rocky road there for a minute. Like, I don't know how you guys feel about doing four projects for four different classes all at once. But for me, it's it's terrifying. It's I have no I have no time management skills. How am I supposed to like balance four projects all in one? Oh, and I also have an English project. I forgot to mention that one. It's a writing assignment, so it's actually pretty easy for me because I love to write. But still, that's another project. But tomorrow I do get to go on a field trip to the zoo, so I am excited for that little break. And anyway, uh, that that's where I've been. If you're wondering, I'm not dead. I'm not sick. I am just literally extremely swamped with work, school work, and chores from a little guinea pig, and just getting everything ready and prepared and all that. But yeah, anyway, there have been a few changes to Animal Jam while I was away, so first things first. The, wait, what were the go? Wow, I was actually really excited to talk about the glove sale, and then I realized that was only during the weekend. And the weekend is already gone, and I didn't make a video about it because I was just consumed with my math project. So, yeah, there was a glove sale over the weekend, which I completely missed out on, but that's okay. What else is there new to Animal Jam? I don't even know. I haven't even gone on Animal Jam in the longest time because, uh, the last video I did was an unboxing video. There's an awesome roleplay at this person's den. I kind of want to go. Like, I want to see what this is all about. Okay, so it already looks awesome. We have a mailbox right here. You know, I'm going to start off by, I'm going to be a mailman in this roleplay, okay? Is a mailman. All right, there we go. I'm a mailman. Um, puts mail in box. I mean, that's what mailmen do, right? They just put the mail in the box. So there we go. Now I'm going to enter this person's house and be like a robber or something. I don't know. Is a robber. Wow, I'm getting wild. What should I rob? Oh, oh, they have medals. Okay, steals. I'm going to steal it all. Wow, steals. I honestly don't even know what I'm doing in this video, but I, I'm stealing their stuff. Oh, this person's a police officer. She's trying to stop me. No. Okay, um, um, hides. I have to hide. I have to hide from them. Where should I hide? Oh my god, there's no place to hide. Everything is pushed up against the corners. <gasps> oh no, no, no. They're, f th she does not find me. No, no, I'm, I'm running. Runs, runs. This is getting intense. This is getting intense. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide right here. I don't think she can see me right here. Um, it's me, your cousin. Oh, that's my cousin! That's my cousin! Hi! Hi! This is, like, the first time I'm actually getting to talk to them. Okay, wait, I want to go to their den and talk to my cousin. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is my cousin. What's up? Um, I don't know. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Guys, this is, like, the first conversation I've ever had with my cousin. Ever. And it's over Animal Jam. This is, like, actually crazy. Like, I can't even have a cold. Aw. 
that's that's sad. That's that's pretty depressing. I just got a guinea pig. I should tell him that. I just got a guinea pig because I don't know if he knows that or not. But school is almost over. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. This is like the first conversation I've ever had with my cousin. This is wild. And tomorrow going to Elixis. I don't know what that is. What's what's that? I don't know what Elixis is, but this is literally the first conversation I've ever had with my cousin and it's all getting recorded. Wow. Now I will be able to look back on this video in like 10 years when we've met at like a family reunion or something and we'll be able to say like that's our first conversation and it was over Animal Jam. Spoons waffle cone friends her. I don't really know what that means. Pl they want me to friend Spoons waffle cone. All right, let's do it. That's them! Look at that! Wow! Oh my goodness! I'm literally meeting my family in Animal Jam right now. This is actually kind of wild. Oh my goodness! I'm like meeting all of my little cousin's friends. Like, I don't know if these are all his friends, but I'm assuming they are. Like, wow. My cousin must be popular. That's crazy. Apparently she's streaming. Ooh! We should go find her stream! I'm on a mission now, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I am so determined. Oh, I think this is her. I think this is her. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch. There. Go away. No. I have never done this before. Come to my den. Bipper. Bopper is there. Um, I'm guessing this is Bepper because there's a million random people here. Yeah, it's Bepper. Hello, XD. I don't even, I can't even say hello. I'll just say hi. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, mock, mock. Hi! Oh, my God! Okay, wow. I can't believe I just met my cousin and my cousin's friend. All in one. Oh my goodness. This is like actually really exciting for me. Like for you guys, it may not seem like a lot, but this is literally like my first interactions with my cousin and it's it's kind of wild. Like honestly, I don't even, I can't even comprehend this. Like that's my cousin right there. Like we are related. He's, he's my cousin. Ah, that's just so wild. And then there's Funny Blade 12, which is also my cousin, which is Joy Cut's brother. One of them is named Jake and one is Josh, but I'm not sure which one is Jake and which one is Josh. So Joyka is either Jake or Josh. Not Drake and Josh, not to be confused with the show that everyone loves, but Jake and Josh. Wow, this is wild. I, I can't even, I can't even believe it. And it all started because of a role play. I was role playing that I was a robber and I was stealing things. And then my cousin came and is like, hey, that's just completely wild. You know where I want to go? I want to go to Jama Township. Oh no, I guess not. Let's go to Coral Canyons. I want to go- there's nobody here! What the heck? Oh wait, this- this person is here. Let's- let's find this person. Let's go to your den. <gasps> your den is locked? That pains me. Oh, you know whose den we can always go to? The beach house den. AGHQ's beach house. I'm gonna give this a den review. I don't know, I'm kind of all over the place with this video, but you're just gonna have to deal with it because I- I have a lot of things to say. So, uh, this is like a little book stash corner, then we have like a little, a couch, which is, I love couches, you know, everyone should love couches. We have some books that are literally hovering right on the edge of the table. I don't know why they can't just be on the table, but no, they're like right on the edge. And that vase isn't even on the table, it's literally like, it's, it's, it's just its own entity, it's like it's on the wall. Okay then. I don't know man, but then we go upstairs, ooh, we have a nice little chair area thing. We have a Yeti thing. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what the heck are those? Those are like massive sized flags. I don't even know what flag that is. I'm, I'm assuming it's a flag of like Scandinavia or something. I don't know. Ooh, oh, look up here. Up here is so nice. What the heck? It's so like plants. Just so many plants. I love this. And then if you come out here, we have some monkey banana things. And then when you go down, ooh, is that a gazebo? I want to go on the gazebo. Wee. Okay, I want to go on the gazebo. What? I can't even. Oh, that that angers me, Animal Jam. What the heck? We have a ton of flamingos hanging out here. Maybe they migrated or something. Ooh, look at this. This is awesome. We have a little canoe area and everything. I'm not sure if that's actually in the real den itself. Oh my god, there are so many flamingos. Like, how many flamingos do you need? Jeez. Those flamingos need to calm themselves down. Oh! There's a little dolphin chilling. I want to chill with the dolphin. Ooh. Heck yeah, I have, like, the best spot in the house. Do you guys see this? I'm right under an umbrella, right next to a dolphin that's, like, also a pirate. And I'm also right next to this stuff, which is very exciting. Oh, I want my own ice cream! I want my own ice cream! Boop! What? Oh, that cheated me. It cheated me of my ice cream. When you click those, you're supposed to get an ice cream. Now I need to go and get an ice cream. I need to get an ice cream machine to make up for me not getting an ice cream. Where is the ice cream machine? <gasps> they don't have the ice cream machine anymore? 
Oh my god, I feel so betrayed. What? No, it has to be here somewhere. It has to. Oh my god, no. They can't just they can't just get rid of the ice cream machine. The ice cream machine has always been here. It has always it's it's been a staple part of the summer carnival. You can't just get rid of the ice creams. Okay, well, you know what? The next best thing is cotton candy. However, I have my own cotton candy machine in my den, and, you know, homemade is always better, so we're just gonna go ahead and find that. Boop! Cotton candy machine! Alright, let's go ahead and eat some cotton candy. You know, I don't want to be generic and just make a phantom, so I'm gonna- I'm just gonna make my own little masterpiece, okay? Ooh, you know, I really like this color scheme right here, the blues and pinks and stuff. I don't know, I'm- I'm really- I like those. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna start off with blue, because I feel like- I'm gonna make a- Ooh, I'm gonna make a sunset right now, and isn't, like, the darkest color always on the bottom? I don't know how sunsets work. Is it always, like, the pretty, like, pinkish, purpley, orange colors at the bottom, or are those at the top? Well, you know what? It's too late to turn back now, because the blue's already on the bottom, so we're just gonna have to roll with it. I feel like I can't go from blue to pink, because that'd be going from dark color to light color. I feel like it has to be, like, gradual, you know? I don't know. I feel like I'm explaining my cotton candy too much. I don't know. I'm just making it pretty, okay? I'm just making my ice cream beautiful. Doesn't that look like a beautiful ice cream? That kind of looks like a sunset, actually. Like, I'm I'm kind of surprised. I'm surprised in myself. I made a beautiful sunset, guys. Wow. I'm, I love it. Okay, we have to make one more. Okay, so, you know what? This time, I'm just gonna do blue and yellow, because, like, it has, it has to match the cone, you know? Alright, so there we go. Some, some nice blueberry, and then some lemon, and more blueberry on there. Wow, look at that. Gotta get all that yummy yummy blueberry and anyways guys that's how you make some really awesome cotton candy that's how you meet your cousin on animal jam and that is also how you explain not being here the past like two weeks and i'm sorry about that tomorrow might just end up being a vlog of me at the zoo because i mean let's be real here zoos like they're fun like animals they're beautiful and anyways guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video goodbye I don't know why my goodbye was like that. I meant to just say kind of like goodbye, but it kind of came out as like a cowboy, like goodbye, you know, like, anyway, goodbye.